Greetings, everyone. Well, I have an interesting dream I want to share with you. Just the other day, um, I saw, I was standing at an intersection and just observing the things that were happening. And what I saw coming toward me was a silver passenger train, although it was a mail train. So I'm observing this train and as it's coming down the track, it stayed on track. It didn't miss a beat. And, uh, but it was making stops along the way. I could see the conductor as he, as he was moving along, he would stop, deliver the mail. Now this was a very tall silver train. I was amazed at how tall it was. It had to be at least 30 feet tall, which is about twice as tall as a normal train. And I could see the passengers on board. So as it came to the intersection, uh, it made its turn, stayed on right on track, and uh, it just kept going, making stops along the way to deliver the mail. Because I thought, I don't know where these people are going, but it's gonna take twice as long because the conductor stopping to deliver the mail. But here's what I believe was taking place also. See, I believe we're on that train that silver speaks of redemption. And it also speaks of souls. You know, it's the price that's paid for souls. So it's a train of redemption. And the passengers on board, I think that a, a lot of them are us. Some of us are being relocated um, to different places and it, redirected. So we are the ones taking, what is that mail? That mail is the good news. And we're being taken to where we need to be most effective to deliver the good news. You know, it's not a time for us to be timid, to be shy, to hold back with what the Lord is saying. We need to be like um, Acts 4. We need to be praying for that spirit of boldness to come upon us and that we will deliver the word that is needed in the time that it's needed. You know, there's a time in Ecclesiastes, it speaks about a time for everything. And it's a time for us, there's a time for us to bridle our tongue and a time for us to loose it and to speak what the Lord is giving us. There's a real wisdom in that, but we are to be doing the greater works. So I believe that the passengers on this train they had their assignments in hand and they were in fact the mail that was being delivered as the uh, engineer would come to the town, the city that needed uh, deliverance, <laughs> the mail was delivered there, the deposit was made. And don't be surprised if the Lord calls you to do something that, it may be something that the Lord hid in your heart a long time ago. Maybe secretly you prayed about it and you thought it would never, ever come to pass. Don't be surprised that the Lord said, now is the time. You know, I believe there's a repositioning and uh, a recommissioning that has and is taking place. It's a time of being redirected to the place that you need to be because God wants you to be most effective. You can be in your own hometown and have some effect. However, if he is not that you maybe have to move, but he may redirect you someplace else for ministry and you would be most effective somewhere else. It's where God needs us to be. Are we willing to do that? You know, to lay our agendas aside and to go and do the things that God has called us to do. So, um, be bold, <laughs> ask for favor in the time of favor and speak his word in truth. Don't be afraid to take new assignments. You know, it could be going to a neighbor's house. It could be most anything, but these people on the train, I believe that they were, uh, they were the assignments and they were the ones being mailed on that train okay so it's a silver passenger train coming to your home coming to your door okay be able be ready to receive what god is giving you because it can be uh life-changing and it's for his purpose remember it's not about us it's about him it's what doing his will 
not ours. Okay, so next time, be blessed.